I can't wait to eat this. So good. Check it out. I brushed my hair. I had breakfast. I had coffee. I'm looking so much more weak. And it is time to go check the trail camera. I'm so excited. Ah! All right, finally ready to go. I've eaten, I've drank, I've done everything. It's finally time to go. Let me show you a couple more things I'm bringing with me. I'm bringing some layers just in case it's cold. I'm going way higher in elevation. I really don't know what the temperature is like, but I'm sure it'll be all right. But when I'm hiking, I'll be warm in this probably, but I'm bringing some extra layers just in case. I almost forgot to bring my Vortex binoculars. I have the uh, Vortex Furies. They double as binoculars and rangefinders, so that's super cool. Now, let me show you one more thing. Okay, so you can see all these different sectors in gray, and you just click on one, and the info shows up with what it is. Mule deer, moose, ooh. I just love moose so much. It's gonna take a little slow because I just love mouse, okay? So anyway, what I did to put this trail camera up is I looked in a any bowl unit and I clicked on some of these sectors just like I'm doing right now and looked for signs of elk. And then I picked the sector that I saw the most elk and I decided that that's where I was going to put a trail camera. But Within that, I did like some heavy research just from like Google Earth, seeing meadows and aspens and all that fun stuff, seeing where I wanted to put the camera. So that's what made me decide to put my camera where I did. It's a little slow right now because I need to turn my Wi Fi off. That's why it's a little slow because I'm outside my house. And the Wi-Fi is not great. I really, really love this app. It's definitely dangerous. You can spend a lot of time on it. So they have people always out there setting trail cameras and checking trail cameras so that they're always updated. And it's not just Utah. It's Nevada, Arizona, Colorado. I think Idaho's on the list soon. So it's really, really great. Look at that, lots of uh, Arizona strip data right here. Definitely gonna use that for shed hunting season. But yeah, it's really cool, really, really easy to use. And that's why I, and I use Scout to Hunt to pick where I was gonna put this trail camera. So let's see how it does. There could be lots of stuff on it, there could be nothing. I only put one up in this really large area. So let's see how it works. I think it could be good for deer or elk. So we're gonna learn something today. Well, you guys, I'm finally in the right meadow. And these videos don't really do the hike justice because for the past hour and a half, I've been hiking straight up hills trying to get up here and uh, it has not been easy and since this is my second time ever here and I'm not super familiar with the area I went out of my way like quite a bit and then had to go back so that was my mistake but it happened where's my camera let's hope it's here right that's always something you have to worry about. Let's find it. Well, you guys, I feel sick to my stomach, but my camera is gone. Somebody stole it, locked up, and everything. I am way out here in the middle of nowhere, and someone was here and cut it off the damn tree. It was in a lockbox. <sighs> locked to the tree I'm so upset because that was the whole purpose of my day just so sickening like I was so excited I'm just like blown away at how crappy people are like what type of person does that? 
You think that the person that put the camera on the key doesn't work hard for the things or work hard to get up here and set cameras and check cameras? I'm a freaking college student. You know how hard I've worked to get trail cameras? Ugh. I'm so upset. I've, I know it was on that tree right there, but I keep scanning everywhere. Just every tree hoping. But it's gone. I feel so sick. I'm so, so bummed. If you remember from the video where I set it up, that's the tree it was on. It's gone. Here's where we kicked up the dirt to put the salt. You can still see some right there. And that's the tree that the camera was on. Locked with a lock around it, in a lock box and everything. God, why? I'm so upset. Well, you guys, I am sorry about the outcome of this video. Here it is, the whole purpose of doing this whole thing was to use Scout to Hunt to set up a camera for the extended archery elk tag. And I did that, made a cool video out of that. It was a lot of fun. And then this video, going to check it, is just gone. Just, like, I just can't understand stealing anyone's things, you know? like. I just don't get it. And what kind of parents teach their kids to do stuff like that, you know? Like, whoever stole that, that's somebody's child at some point. It just makes me sick, you know? You go through the trouble to drive up here, hike up here, carry salt up here, spend your time and money just for some nobody to steal your stuff. I don't mean to rant about it, but I'm sure you guys have had similar situations and please let me know if you've had what I really need out of this. Hold on, hold on. Is there any way you guys know of that I can set up a trail camera where it will not get stolen? <sighs> what type of loser hikes all the way up here with lock cutters? I use those master locks that are tough and they wrap around the tree I just want to like punch a wall. <laughs> I really want to punch a wall. That's yeah. Oh, I'm so I'm so bummed. I'm sorry, you guys. So th this was the outcome, but yeah, if you know a better way to secure a trail camera, freaking bulletproof, please let me know. And if this has happened to you before, please let me know. And I feel your pain. I'm so sorry. I don't care if you spend five dollars on something or a hundred dollars on something. It's yours. And I don't care if it's public land. Those always the people that are like, oh, you put it on public land. Guess what? That does not give anyone the right to steal people's things. That's why law enforcement officers and national forest officers, forest service people look for thieves and they say report wildlife thieves. If you know of somebody, report them because it's a felony. <laughs> So you'll go to jail like these anti-hunters recently stole a bunch of stuff in Park City and they're going to jail. <laughs> That's what happens. You, you're a thief. It's not legal. This is America. Don't steal people's things that we work hard for. I worked way hard for everything that I have. I know sometimes it looks like I have all the nicest things but there's been a time in my life where I struggled so hard just to buy a trail camera you know and when I did it, it was like, all right, I just have one, let's put it to use, you know? And now I, I'm lucky I do have a lot, but doesn't mean that I didn't work hard for them or work hard to get here. <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, I'm just upset. Okay, I ate my blueberries and I thought of one more little thing before I hiked down. Um, this is why it's important to always have a gun on you. Not saying that I would shoot some thief if I caught him doing my stuff. Just saying that 
good rational people don't steal trail cameras. There are bad people all around you and most people are good, don't get me wrong. Like Luke Bryan says in that song, most people are good, I believe that. But there are some bad people and you, you just can't say like what's in someone's head, you know, and I'm out here by myself and guess what? I feel comfortable even though, the, even though there's a stealing crazy lunatic taking stuff off my tree. The point is, at least I'm armed at all times. It was clipped onto my backpack. This is my um, holster I told you guys about in the past. I think it's Razco is the name of it. You guys can look them up. I carry a Ruger um, SP-101. It's a 357. And it's always loaded. As my bullets about fall out. But just the point is, we live in such a beautiful country where we have the ability to carry guns. And I'm very proud of that. And usually I don't like to talk political or anything, but there's an election coming up. And I think I have a lot of like-minded followers. So remember, who's going to protect your guns? Because, you know, who's going to protect you? What if something happened to me out here? I'm going to call 911. I don't even have service, you know? If an animal or person threatened my life, I have my Second Amendment right at all times. I'm such like a gun preacher sometimes. I really love guns just because the beauty of the confidence it gives you. I can do anything and everything by myself because I got this big old mean revolver on my hip. I'm trained to use it and I will use it if something threatened my, threatens my life. And you know what? The goal is to never have to use it, but it's there just in case. RIP Stealth Cam. Rest in peace forever in our thoughts, forever in some evil person's hands. Just, the, I was just thinking about it like, you guys know me, I'm always happy and positive. This could have been such a cooler video if I actually got to check my trail camera and saw some cool stuff on it. But it's not that way. Oh, I'm so bummed. Now I guess I'll never know. I'll never know.